Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Locked In Thought from Paul Brooks. What is this trick? Um, basically, this is a brass padlock. It's a real brass padlock that you have locked on your keychain or in your pocket or maybe on your gym bag. Uh, you're able to take it off, hand it to the spectator. They change the combination themselves without writing anything down, without any equivocate from you, without any questions from you. With your back turned, you could even do it blindfolded. And when they give the lock back to you, you're able to discern exactly what the number is. You want to see what the trailer looks like? This is it. Imagine having a small combination padlock on your keychain. The kind that's used for traveling or for gym lockers, that sort of thing, that is able to deal devastating mentalism wherever you go. Simply have a participant enter their own number into the padlock. Then apparently through mind reading, you're able to open the lock. Must be some kind of trick lock, right? Wrong. You're able to turn that lock around and show the person the exact number they were thinking of. There's no writing down, there's no funny procedures, just direct mind reading using that padlock. It's fully examinable from start to finish and it's ready to go wherever you are. Unlock their mental security with Locked In Thought. All right, so that was Locked in Thought from Paul Brook, and this is a self-published release, I think, okay? <laughs> so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get a really tiny, 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 tiny little cardboard box, and then inside that is a real, authentic brass padlock and the download code to the PDF instructions. All right, so is it what I thought? No, it's not what I thought. I really thought I'd be getting some sort of gimmick. You know, for 65 bucks uh, and getting something that was a brass padlock and I'm gonna learn this really cool trick, I was really expecting a gaff or a gimmick uh, and it's not an expensive gaffed padlock. This is an actual real locker, you know, cheap padlock that you could get from Amazon for 15 bucks or so. Uh, it's, it's a real padlock and the cost really is Paul Brook, number one, finding the padlock for you that would do this trick and number two, getting all of his expert advice, getting all of his routines and ideas. How are the angles? There are none to speak of. Um, there, there's, there is some movements that you're doing as you're trying to unlock the key code um, with your hands. I wouldn't call them angles because there's really nothing the spectator is gonna see. There's no flashing. Um, they might notice that you're down there struggling, but um, Paul Brook does give you some cover ideas for that, which should work to your advantage. Can it be inspected? Absolutely, this is a real padlock. Part of the trick is you giving it to the spectator and they change the key, okay? They change the passcode on it and hand it back. So they have to hold it, they have to inspect it, and they're never gonna find a thing. What's the overall quality and production value of the teaching? Uh, the teaching is a 46-page PDF with absolutely no pictures. Yeah, um, Paul Brook is gonna teach you how to honestly crack a padlock. He's going to teach you how to lock pick basically without a lock pick. He's going to teach you how to crack it with just using your fingers and your sense of touch. I mean it's going to be like in the movies where you see the guy with his ear up against the lock and he's spinning the tumblers. That's what you're doing really. Um, spoiler alert. And so he's going to teach you how to do that but like I said it's a 46 page PDF and there's there isn't one picture. And there's no one set method. He'll say, try this. And if that doesn't work, try this. And if that doesn't work, try this. <laughs> so there's a lot of trying and failing uh, on your part until you get it down. So how much practice does it require? I have no idea because I really couldn't follow the instructions. I had the padlock in my hand. I tried it this way and failed, tried it that way and failed, tried it that way and failed, and I, I gave up. I was a little disappointed. I really wanted a gimmick that was gonna work <laughs> nine times out of 10, or at least 10 times out of 10. And to get an actual padlock and to have him try to teach me how to actually crack a padlock code uh, without pictures, without, without video, just didn't work for me. And it just, I, it just fell short and I was really sad because I really wanted to learn this trick. 
how much setup and reset is there? The, really the only reset is you should always reset the lock back to a number that you recognize uh, or, you, or that you remember. Um, set it back to 000, set it back to 111, set it back to 123. You know, you have to set it back to something easy so that when you give it to the spectator, they know how to unlock it. So they put in 123 and then they change the code and then you'll have to teach them how to change the code too. Positives. All right, so what are some of the positives to Locked in Thought? Um, Paul Brook has created a clever effect using real props and by teaching you real techniques. This is the real deal. All right, so what are the negatives? What are the negatives to Locked in Thought? Um, for me, the padlock was so small in my big clunky fat fingers, uh, it was just the, 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 the lock wheel just spun so fast. I couldn't ever, ever stop it on a specific number. Like if you said stop it on six, I would like, I would pass it. And then the other thing was the numbers were so small on the lock. I mean, I have to put, I always get weirded out when I have to put my glasses on to do magic because then I'm kind of alerting the spectator that I actually need to read something. You know, you don't want to have a deck of cards and have them be reader backs or marked backs and you put your, re you put your reader glasses on to see the backs. That's a definite clue that you can read something there. And so to put my glasses on to read the tiny numbers, I mean, I had to hold it back and to see the numbers and, or take it outside in sunlight. Like the numbers were too small for me to read. So kind of lost some points for me there as well. Is it worth your money? Is it worth your money? It is $65, $65. And like I said, you're only getting a tiny little brass padlock that you could get on Amazon for a lot less. Okay. So value wise, Value wise, no, it's not worth your money. Performance wise, performance wise, if you can get mileage out of this, if this speaks to you, if this is still like, yeah, I wanna learn how to crack locks and, and do this, and that's definitely in my style of character, performance wise, $65 is nothing. Because this is the trick you can do over and over and over again. It's totally hand out a bowl, that's a real word. Spectator will never catch on, you know, that you have a, that you know how to really crack locks. Um, it's a great mentalism effect, um, great lock picking effect. Uh, so I, get, I say if you can get mileage out of this, if you can make it work for you, it's definitely worth your money. And Paul Brook did tell me, I mean, I, I reached out to him, I told him I was having trouble with this. Paul Brook did tell me that he was releasing a video. So he will release video instructions as of this recording, as of this review, he still has not. And I was really holding back on my review, waiting for the video so that I could add that into my review, but deadlines. And so uh, as of now, it's not released, but it might be released um, by now. And if you've seen it, um, maybe comment below in the section uh, underneath and let us know um, if the video um, really helps you out a lot. That would um, help out some of our viewers. All right, so who would like this? Um, mentalists and people that wanna do a lock picking routine. I think that's really, uh, the audience right there. All right, so that is Locked in Thought from Paul Brook. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for providing this trick for me so that I can do the review for you. And if you wanna purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.